A tropical storm has been hindering efforts to help the survivors of Saturday's powerful earthquake in Haiti. Almost 2,000 people are known to have died. Tens of thousands forced into temporary shelters are now having to deal with flooding, heavy winds and rain. UNICEF says half a million children have been left with limited or no access to shelter and safe water. Our correspondent James Clayton reports now from the town of Lekai in one of the worst affected areas. At times, it feels like Haiti is being hit from all directions, on multiple fronts. First the earthquake, then the storm. It hit just after dark, violent winds and horizontal rain, misery loaded on top of misery. All across this town, people have been left with a stark choice. Do they either sleep in unsafe structures, or do they decide to sleep on the streets in the wet and the cold? This is the biggest camp in the area, people seeking refuge on a football field. They were told they'd be safe here, but as the rains poured, they were soaked, their tents ripped apart by the winds. The people here are desperate and angry. We have problems here. Just look at the conditions. And where are the government? They're not here. There are injured people here too. This woman's foot has a deep laceration, but she's had no medical attention. Another woman tells me she hasn't eaten since Saturday. The other option here is to sleep in homes already badly damaged. Josue runs the local lottery shop. He and his family were lucky the house didn't totally collapse, but they've had to make a difficult decision. And did you sleep here last night? Yes, I am obligé dormir. Yes, I slept here in this broken house last night. There was wind and rain but the other people in the tent city had to sleep outside, on chairs. There are simply no good options in this situation. These are desperate times, and the storm has meant that the help that is needed by air and road simply hasn't arrived. James Clayton, BBC News, Lekai.